Hello guys, today I'm going to show you how to make this manipulation, so let's begin. First let's open the background, press ctrl shift u to desaturate the background, then let's bring the woman. Place it around here. Then click OK. Right click on the layer and choose rasterize layer. Press Ctrl Shift and U to desaturate that layer. Now we're gonna add some curves. Go to the adjustments, curves, and click on these options to make it as a clipping mask. Get the middle point and move it to the right just a little. And go on this last point and move it up. something like that. Now let's bring the uh, skulls. This one right here. Place place it place it here and let's transform it. Make it a little small. Place it, place it there, click OK, Control Shift and U to desaturate that layer. Uh, first of all, let's right click on the layer and rasterize layer, Control Shift U, and click on the woman layer and let's move the woman a, a little, something like this. So go back to the skulls. Now we're gonna make some, um, we're gonna add some brightness and contrast. Click here to make it as a clipping mask. And on brightness, we're gonna put minus 75. On contrast, 15. Let's make a new layer. And we're gonna paint black on this left side. So get a brush, black, and let's paint this area. And set the blend mode to soft light. Opacity around 50. Now let's bring the other image images. So we're gonna place this here. Click OK. Set the blend mode to a screen and the opacity around 75. Now let's move the layer below the woman. Right click and rise the rise layer. Now we're gonna add some some brightness and contrast. Click on this option for a clipping mask, and we're gonna put brightness minus one fifty and contrast one hundred. Now we're gonna click. Uh, right here on this layer and we're gonna bring the other image is gonna be this last call 
set the blend mode to a screen so we can see through and put it somewhere right here click ok um, right click and rasterize layer control shift u to desaturate and we're gonna set the opacity to around 45 to 50 let's add a brightness and contrast and put brightness minus 150 and contrast 100 and don't forget to click this option to make it as a clipping mask so now we have this call um, transparent barely visible but it looks good Yes, I'm gonna place it here. There. Now I'm gonna click on the woman layer and I'm gonna add a layer mask. I'm gonna erase some parts on the lower part of the woman. So get the brush tool. and just erase the edges just uh, pass the brush around the edges to make it a little transparent something like that go on top click on the top layer and we're gonna make a dodge and burn layer. I already show you how to make an action for that, so click that and get the burn tool. And let's burn here and here. Also burn the skulls. I'm not really burning the skulls. What I'm doing is burning the background so it makes it look like the shadow for the skulls. And I'm gonna pass just one just one time on the whole skull to make it a little darker on the dark areas. So now let's go to the skulls uh, right here on this one on this layer. Make a layer mask for that. Choose the brush and let's choose. Mm, let's choose this this brush and we're gonna paint or erase here just brush uh, like that and you'll see these lines Like that, like the, like you can see, we we make it look like it's grass. So now let's click on the touch and burn layer, and we're gonna make a selection. So press and hold Control key and click on the woman layer. So we have the woman selected and the touch and burn layer selected. Go to the dash tool and we're gonna lighten this area. This dark area of the woman, we're gonna make it lighter. So with the dash tool and 20% exposure, 
with the range midtones just make this area lighter like this and con control D to deselect so now we're gonna add a gradient map so choose the gradient map click there and choose this one it's gonna be the purple green and orange if you don't have this one I think you might have it but if you don't type these numbers on the orange type 6F156C click OK on the middle one on the green type 00601B and on the orange one or yellow is gonna be FD7C00 click OK click OK and set the blend mode to soft light set the opacity to 50 let's add some levels choose levels and we're gonna put this to 240 let's add some color balance go to color balance on midtones and on red we're gonna put 34 so now we're gonna make a stamp for this click control alt shift e and we're gonna make this a little bit sharper so go to filter sharpen on sharp mask amount 150 radius 1 pixel there's hold 10 levels click ok and I'm gonna change the opacity to 50 so now um, let's make another stamp control shift alt e and we're gonna add some vignette around it go to filter lens correct correction custom and on vignette amount type or move this minus 50 click ok now I'm gonna use a plugin that I have for Photoshop that is gonna make this image pop out a little bit better and it's gonna look amazing so the filter or the plugin I'm gonna use is called Nick Software Color Effects Pro from here I'm gonna choose Bleach Bypass and I'm gonna choose the increase detail then I'm gonna click OK and like you can see the details looks better it pop out the picture or the image more and for me it looks awesome it looks wonderful but I'm gonna lower the opacity to 50 if you have this plugin you can leave the opacity to 100 or change it to 50 or whatever but for me it's gonna be 50 because the original image that I showed you when I first started this tutorial it was on 50 so I'm gonna leave it on 50 so this is the end result that we have achieved today and like I said if you don't have the plugin or the filter you can achieve this by using I think you can do that by using the other high pass just increase the radius and change the plane mode to soft light well it didn't have the same result as the plugin but if you can see it makes a little difference so that's without the high pass filter and this is with the high pass so it looks more dramatic
but I'm gonna use my plugin right here so yeah that's my result so I hope you like this tutorial and play with the options and see when you ended up with thank you and see you next time